The Monaco Grand Prix it is probably the highlight of the year, uh, one that drivers love driving the most. Obviously a very tight, twisty circuit, um, but a lot of confidence and a lot of commitment is needed to extract the maximum lap time from that circuit. Um, it's obviously a different philosophy, a lot of dirty downforce on the cars, uh, just to try and get that extra little bit of bite in the tyre um, and just really uh, build, build your confidence throughout the weekend and, and carry on. It's a highlight of the year, it's a pinnacle of the Formula 1 calendar. All the glitz and glam, uh, super yachts, uh, and obviously a very tightly packed grandstands, equally apartment buildings, uh, any place that people can get close to seeing the Formula 1 cars go around, it's excellent. And uh, it really, you do feel it. I think because it's so enclosed um, and just everybody wants to come to this event. Normally, the weather obviously holds out, uh, given it's the south of, south of France, uh, and really is an electric weekend. Monaco um, obviously is a, a special place to me. It's where I live uh, now, so it's um, it's, it's a, a nice, uh, very low-key environment uh, normally. But obviously when Grand Prix comes in, it gets a bit busy, but uh, it's nice to be able to go home, get in your own bed at night, uh, just enjoy your own apartment, your own space. I obviously have a lot of friends and family come down for that event. Um, and it's nice just to, to enjoy the places that I enjoy spending my time throughout the weekend. It's obviously got some great corners, obviously from turn one up, up to turn three into Casino Square, you know, arriving at 185 miles an hour, um, breaking into a blind corner where um, you have to carry a lot of speed on the entry and should you get that slightly wrong, it's going to be very costly as we saw in the past. And it has the slowest corner that we do on the Formula One calendar, the Lowe's hairpin, uh, where your maximum steering lock, first gear, uh, really is quite tricky. Um, obviously overtaking is difficult, but you know, Monaco has some great corners, um, you know, in the tunnel, flat corner, again blind. And equally, when you get down into the swimming pool section, which is a high speed bit, and you really feel the downforce and really start to feel how the cars work, and equally over the bumps and curbs, um, makes it quite a challenge for us drivers and the engineers to, to get a perfect car. Thank you.